Hi Libra, this is Aqua Goddess. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Welcome to your bonus read. Keep in mind that the messages will be for past, present, future, and they may or may not resonate with you. If you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, donating to the channel, purchasing any artwork or manifestation jewelry, all of that information will be in our description box below. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome and thank you so very much for being here. Please be sure to join the family. We would love to have you. Make sure that you guys hit that notification bell to be notified for the live videos as well as your future readings. Subscribe to the channel. If you guys are returning, welcome back. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Holy Spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, most high. Please protect me, my collective, and our families as I channel these messages for the sign of Libra. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Please return all evil negative energy back to sender, 25 billion fold. And for anyone out there showing me love, I'm sending much love and light to you. All right, Spirit, what do we have for my beautiful, sexy Libras? What is the energy that we have for Libra? I wish I could share my good news with you. So there's somebody that you don't talk to no more and you would typically be the first person that they call when something good happens or when something bad happens or whatever the case may be. But I feel like this person could have stole something from you for, for some of you guys. It may be a friend. It could be a partner. Um, this may be a tourist born on May 9th or a Virgo born on September 5th. I'm seeing something with real estate. Um, so this person could have stole something at your home or your property. Um, hmm. I feel like at the end, I feel like for some of you guys, this person went to some type of real estate school or got their real estate license or something like that. But this, this energy... I just feel like this person was unfair. They could have robbed you of your energy, your time, your sex, your whatever. Money, resources. I feel you enough. Oh, I said I feel you enough. So this person is feeling you when you're not with them. Yeah, because it says I feel you even though we're, we are apart. So this person feels your energy even though you guys are apart. I feel like this is a moment that they would have shared with you, but they messed this up. They sabotaged this connection. This person left you before you can left before you can leave them. For some of you, for others of you, this person just felt like you were leaving them behind. They didn't feel good enough for you. Uh, some of you guys could be realtors or you may own your own property or go to law school or something. This person looks for you everywhere. So they could have dated. They could be dating somebody new. This person ain't you. Um, this They could be, you know, trying to branch out, but they're not meeting anybody of your quality. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. I couldn't let you get close to me. This is somebody who's definitely emotionally unavailable. They, they're they saying that they're going to wait for a sign from you. Um, so I guess this person wants to communicate. Oh, they're stubborn. They don't listen to nothing you say. You could be dealing with a tourist for some of you guys or a cancer. You may be seeing a lot of sevens right now. Angel number 777. right <laughs> somebody's saying right all right so i feel like um you could be like spiritual um you may be i don't know there's something mysterious about you they this is another reason why they felt like they couldn't let you get close to them they felt like you already knew them anyway no matter what they told you or didn't tell you but it's like you already know so much so they were feeling like they kind of wanted to keep something from them, from themselves. You live and you learn, right? This person didn't know how to handle you. Hmm. 
king of swords, you had to cut them off. You had to. You had to cut this person off. Ooh, because they had multiple options. Left you confused. And looking at the situation logically, you just wanted to be happy. Could have been dealing with a Leo for some of you guys. Hmm. You do something in the public eye where you're getting a lot of attention. You're very knowledgeable. You tried to tell this person something. They didn't listen. But look at you. you like, hmm. Suit yourself. Suit yourself. All right, I see you putting in a lot of work though, Libra. There is some type of aggressive conversation coming towards you. Uh, what is this conversation coming towards Libra? Oh, somebody's super cold hearted and one sided. What does this person want? Hmm. So for some of y'all, who is this person? Let me clarify. Who is this? Who is the Queen of Swords? Oh, goodness grief. So this person could have like a toxic, uh, they could have like a mother or, or father of their child that's very toxic. Why is this person communicating with you, but you're moving forward? I'm trying to understand. So some of y'all got a platform. This person could be on your platform, spending a lot of time watching you. Maybe this individual went through their phone and found out they was watching you, showing you a lot of attention and wanted to know who you were. So if you do something in the public eye, like for example, if you're a reader like myself, this person, whoever this karmic is, could call you and try to get a reading. This is crazy. So the person that you were dealing with, Libra, is now putting in one side of energy with this person. They argue and fight and crazy one-sided energy so this person seems to feel like they're spending time with you or cheating with you and this person's about to reach out to you because i see communication here and it's not gonna work whatever they doing you're gonna focus on your money and focus on your stability um you're gonna hold back because that's toxic but if this person because yeah this person's fine thinking y'all smashing but you been got clarity on this person. Somebody ego hurt. Because you're not sad. So let me tell you this. The person that you were dealing with is they feel a type of way because you're not sad. And they're still feeling you even though you guys are apart. And then whoever this karmic is that's watching you feel a type of way because you're not sad so they like dang libra look happy i wonder if she smack I, I wonder if he's smashing my because they they ain't giving me nothing they ain't investing nothing in me so i wonder if they then started talking back to libra or who is this person that you paying so much attention to let me go to their page and check it out may have seen your pictures or something and this person could have be could be the type that likes to talk and then show this person your picture at some point. See? So what is this? Um, tell me what else I need to know. Hmm. Tuh. Well, um, apparently this person is acknowledging definitely that the way that they treated you was wrong. They know that you deserve better. And they cannot move on. This is what them and the karmic energy is both feeling. I hear a cat. Which speaks about independence. 
cats represent independence other things too but independence this person wants to be free from that situation and it's like they can't move on from you and it's like whoever they're with is feeling this energy too feeling like they're going on an adventure so it's like this person hurt people hurt people they want to come towards you when you already did it the situation with this person period this could be somebody they married to or somebody you were used to that oh this is somebody they married on accident like that shouldn't even happen this is where they are right now in this space and it's like because this person feels a sense of entitlement they can have kids with this person you may not and their person's giving them one side of energy it's like they want to come and take that frustration out on somebody else that they feel like their person desires more than they desire them and they do desire you more than they desire them it is what it is though you knew that you knew that already all right so yeah definitely some toxic energy coming but just continue to focus on your foundation no pressure like don't this no pressure off of this you got expression confirmation express how you feel clearly lovingly and honestly without fear or judgment say it exactly like it is all will be resolved when you express to others how you truly feel trust in the power of life to guide you and heal all concerns Self-expression is liberating and healing. All right. So those are the messages I got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you like the reading, if it resonates with your story, make sure you show me some love and thumbs up this video. Subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you soon. Much love and light. Peace.